Okay. Now we want to get on to message streaming. Right. So this is the this is not using the notification service. This is a separate capability. Yeah. Which is if you want to do high capacity, yeah, thousands yeah. of messages per second, yeah. you want to do yeah. message yeah. streaming. Yeah, because it's important to note with notifications, whenever there's a publish to a topic, that means a workspace is started and run. And so, you know, we can do hundreds of those a second. But in some cases we're we're dealing with like thirty thousand messages a second. So how are we going to do that? For that we have this whole idea of message streaming. And we and that's direct communication to the engine. Yeah. And we have added TCP/IP transformers to facilitate that yeah. movement of data that way. JMS is yeah. in SP1 already. It actually. is in SP1 now. So yeah. if you need to push JMS messages at high yeah. speed, yeah. you can do it. And again, they're both they're bidirectional, in and out. In and out. Yeah. And we actually are using Python to serve to WebSockets. That's right. I'm going to show that example right now. Okay. Just very quickly, because I have another example coming up. I'm not sure what happened there. <clears throat> That's okay. Everybody's favorite website. Yeah, FMEpedia. There's so much good stuff. And this is a brand new Google search, by the way. Yeah. So the so search is much better. Much better. Yeah. Yeah. And here comes a map. And what's happening is we're having these different events happen, uh, come into a, a, a workspace that's on. It's running all the time. Yeah. And when it receives an event, it pushes it out over web sockets to this map. Right, so you can see in this case we have buses, we have bo boats, and we have airplane locations. And, and this is real time, so if I was in San Francisco Bay Area, I would actually could verify that there was a boat there and the bus was there and all that good stuff. Ab absolutely. There are all these three data sources coming in in the same format or They're stream? actually a little bit different. Uh -huh. um, this one's coming in as XML. Both yeah. of these are XML. Oh, I'm glad um, you said XML. Yeah, I know you're, you seem to have an affinity for that. I XML. Love XML. I've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these come as an XML, and these are a stream that comes in TCP/IP stream. We read it and then yeah. we push it out to WebSockets. Okay. Always on workspace for that. Right. Now I want to show just to show how that's actually possible, and it shouldn't be too hard to show that. Okay. Deep dive. Okay, we're going to look at the workspace here, are we? We are. Not not that one. Yep. But we're going to look at one very similar. Okay. So what we're going to do is show you how you can use a TP, TCP IP sender to send some information in a, in a sort of, uh, it's basically parks in this case. Okay. We're sending parks from this workspace through TCP IP to, well, whoever's listening. Right. Right, and we're using a decelerator just to just to just to slow it down. Just, just, just to slow it down, so the demo doesn't blow take, up. That take a bit of time. That's right. So it takes a bit of time. So I start that, and now basically it's 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 a server out there providing some information. That information happens to be encoded uh, to look like this. Yeah, it's fixed width, seventy four characters. We know every time the message will be seventy four characters. Yeah, uh, we come over here now to the TCP/IP receiver. And what we do with it is we receive that information. So if I come in here, I'll show you 74 bytes at a time. Yeah. And we split it up because it's comma separated. Yeah. And we strip out the uh, the, the pieces, name it mm -hmm. X Y, create a point, and we log it out in this case. Perfect. You see that little blue thing there? Yeah. This is where inspection is very cool. Yeah. Because I can see the points as they come in. Yeah. I can wait a bit. Yeah. Here comes the next, the next point. Line. I can of see. course, we have a decelerator on the other end. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's the name. Yeah. And I'm waiting. And this is where I found that ins data, the inspection points yeah. are really useful. Yeah. Go yeah. to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can't really inspect any other way. Nope. With nope. with message streaming. Nope. That's awesome. Okay, so that's uh, sending information over uh, TCP/IP and receiving it. So I hit stop. So, so it, it, it broke the connection. Yeah. Yeah.